Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. Now in today's video, we are going to be jumping in and we are going to be talking about how to swing trade during stock market crashes or recessions. We're going to be talking about some of the positions that we're in and uh, kind of giving you guys my strategies and mindset for trading in a possible crash or recession. So guys, I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys have any questions, ask down below. And if you guys want to learn more about swing trading, check out my school. It's absolutely fantastic. We have private live streams. We have quizzes, group chats, quizzes, lectures, all that stuff, everything you need to get started with swing trading. Check it out down below. You guys can use code half off to get 50% off. It's only valid for this week. It's, we're doing a little early spring sale for you guys for 50% off. All right, and guys, I know I have a crazy hat. I just went on a trip. I wanted to show you guys because it's absolutely fantastic and I thought it was cool. So if you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you, but all right, let's jump into this here. So what do we look for for swing trading and how does it differ when the stock market sells off? So looking at some of our opportunity watch lists, you guys can see that it got absolutely annihilated. We got uh, opportunity and then we have our holdings list. Now, we did buy two stocks as of today. We did buy AMD and we did buy RYN. Now, some of the reasons why we bought these Heavy support, you guys can see on AMD, we got good price support here at about $62. It hits it several times, establishing support, as well as we have that 90-day moving average line, that blue line here coming in contact. Could definitely see a move from about this seven or 167 area up to 184. Now, my strategy and plan, anytime we have a crash or some sort of recession in the market, do I freak out? No. Trading, you have to have the approach of kind of a little bit, I hate to say it, but a little bit like a roller coaster. Obviously, you're always shooting for up. You're always shooting for up and profit. That's the goal of trading. Everyone's goal of trading or investing in the market is one thing, and that's to make money. But there is going to be dips and pullbacks. And that's kind of what we've seen, you know, even today where the S&P 500 just sold off midday due to a CPI report. Now, does that make me scared or nervous to trade? No, not really, because I do look at a lot of stock market sell-off as opportunity. You know, just like you, you always hear the expression of buy low, sell high, right? So when something sells low, buy low, right? You're buying low and you're trying to sell it at a higher price. A company like AMD is a very well-established company on a support line. You know, this is a company that you could hold for the long run or, you know, set your stops at like 157, risk a couple bucks to see if we can get a push higher. You know, AMD is a great play. We have this this nice upward trend even if we set our profits up here at like 185 setting we can zoom in here a little bit setting our stops you know at like 157 or even a little higher really and like the 160s you're risking one dollar to make three dollars great risk and reward heavy support blue chip company not blue chip but very very well established company here possibly even blue chip um, another one that we bought here was RYN heavy support. You guys can see on this 200 day hits it, hits it, you know, hopping in here at 30, uh, one is a pretty solid play. And the reason why I say that is because we could see a push up to the target of like 33 and we could set our stops just below this pretty much under 30 risking a dollar to make $2.50. These are the positions we're in on. You guys know we've been in on Macy's for a minute for the past couple of days. We're up about 7%, which is good. And even with the stock market selling off, Macy's seemed to push up higher. So there is always going to be stocks and sectors that do perform better. And, and we're in on Procter & Gamble, which is up a little bit as well. So <clears throat> you just got to find those plays, stick to your plan. Yeah, and if the stock market's getting crushed, adjust your stuff, adjust your stop loss, take profit a little sooner. You know, swing trading and making money from trading, it's base hits. Those 1%, 2% gains are gonna compound on itself and that's where you're gonna make your money. It's not gonna be off 100% returns every single day. No, that's not realistic. You gotta have a very, very realistic approach with trading and take profit, that's your goal. You're not trading for fun. You're not trading because you your friends and family want you to trade no you're trading to make money so when you're profitable take profit you know that's the biggest thing you need to do 
you know, when when you buy a position and you're up 4% and you're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, take your profit. There's no problems taking profit. I've never lost money taking profit and it's one of the biggest lessons I wish people would take is to take profit. It's crazy to me. But guys, hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys have any questions, ask. Uh, like, subscribe, check out my course, and we'll see you guys. Take care.